Ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? We're back with City Streets, Mean.com. Uh, this is Mr. Cowboy right here, trying out his barbecue sauce today. How you doing, Mr. Oh, just fine. That's fine. It's a uh, mighty fine Saturday morning. Uh, what made you decide to make barbecue sauce? Well, I actually, because I do competitive barbecuing, and I, you know, I started out years ago, just like everybody else, you know, cooking in the backyard, just so that I could talk trash to my buddies. <laughs> and uh, then I saw a cook-off, and I thought, well, I can cook with these guys, and I can do this. And so, I started getting into the competition thing, and then one thing led to another, and I started uh, competing, started doing well. So then, you know, each person want to always come up with their own spices and rubs. So me, I came up with, I want to do my own barbecue sauce. And so I started working with that and then, you know, back in, you know, the early 2000s and started working forward and checking it in different places to make sure I had the right one where I would start winning. Uh, uh, you're going to let me on a couple of secret ingredients you got in there? Yes. Uh, sweet, mild, and spicy. <laughs> I've seen that coming. Oh man. Um, it, um, you know, uh, so if I put this on, you know, say like my favorite bridge, you know, a little bit, how's it gonna separate from what's already in the storage? Is, is that good? Oh please. <laughs> now, with, the difference with mine is, you know, when you see the, the, the other sauces in the store, you know, they pour out of the bottle and it's not real, real, a lot of substance or texture there. In mine, what you'll end up doing is, once you pour it onto your ribs or, or your chicken or, or your beef or whatever it is that you may be eating, you'll notice that, that you'll end up getting uh, some bits and pieces of various different seasonings and you'll also see some rich pepper because I don't use the real fine pepper, I use more of the salad brine pepper that you see that's in your salad. And you'll see, you will taste the onions, you'll taste the garlic, you all these different flavors, you will taste it. And not to mention, you know, it's going to give you that flavor, it's going to give you a little bit of bite. Not where it's too hot, but it's not appealing to the palate, but it's going to be comfortable. Uh, to the extent that, that you sit there and you think, well, you know, I really don't really need meat to eat this. But, you know, I can eat this on chips, and I can eat this with the tears, and all the tears. You can eat it with anything. <laughs> My daughter does it all the time. <laughs> Sounds very delightful. Oh man. So you putting in all the local stores? Is that what we can find? Well, we're starting out right now. We currently have it. It's going it's here at the uh, Spice Merchant and of course he has been Bob has been a good person over the years, for the past 10, 15 years in helping me when I first started thinking about it. Bob gave me recommendations and ideas and what to look for. You know, I bring different samples in, he checks them out and tell me, hey yeah, 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 I think you headed in the right direction. So he's got, been very, very helpful, so quite naturally this is one of the first stories that we're at in. And we also uh, have it at the All Things Barbecue in the Delano area. And so they started selling it today. And so you can also purchase it there. And then the Whole Foods store over on East Central. And so they are also selling it. And we've had several uh, restaurants that have called us and said, you know, we tried it, the samples, and and we think we'd like to make a sandwich or we like we we'd like to start doing that inside the restaurant. So what we're doing is we're saying, okay, you know, it works, it's good with anything. Have you tried it yet? I'm uh, not sure. Sure. Today probably my first time. Well, we're going to have to get you out there and make sure you can <laughs> try it because I can guarantee you, you're going to like it. And we're going to have some meat and stuff like that. You can try it on. And uh, like I said, you don't necessarily need meat. But I tell you, my daughter, you know, she'll take it with a soft tortilla shell and she just dip it and it tastes good with just regular uh, chips that you actually get. So it's, it's, it's good sauce. <laughs> uh, plus it's, it's not a real runny sauce like a lot of other sauces. It is, it's like, it I has, know, yes. it just comes out like liquid, but this one comes out like right It comes out, it comes out thick and it has some substance to it. And so when, you, when you're eating sauce, you're not eating something that's been poured over something. You're eating something that uh, a lot of work, a lot of talent, a lot of art, a lot of thought has been put into this Okay. Okay. I don't want to take too much of your time, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap up. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Streets, Mr. Carl Brewer, here at Spice Merchant with his barbecue sauce. Uh, we get out of here. Don't forget, <laughs> Brewer's best barbecue sauce. <laughs>